Ladies and gentlemen, hello. We are another die. I'm Jay. I am A. And this is another episode of Childhood Revisited. That means we are going to play another old game from our childhood. And uh, this is a game that we both played, isn't it? Yes. This is Jeff Jack Rabbit. As you can read there, that was impeccable timing. <laughs> and uh, this is another game by Epic Mega Games. The, the game that we played before this one, Jill of the Jungle, was also by Epic Mega Games. So uh, this is another shareware game by them. And uh, there's a little bit more speedy and it's also weird, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's also a weird game. It, it is a weird game. Uh, shall we just get into it? Yeah, just uh, start begin oh. a new... Let's start a new game. We can pick a difficulty... Let's just put it to medium, shall we? Yes. Like medium difficulty is always a good thing. And uh, this is a shareware game. That means if you had the shareware version, you could, I think, only pick this first yeah, episode the, of the, the Terror. Terror yeah. I actually bought the game later. I think I bought Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 in one of these big boxes, like big video game boxes from back then. And uh, there was um, the first game was in there too. So uh, I had a CD of the first game and the second game. And I actually think that the second game is the better game. Yeah, it by, is. By far, it's a, a fantastic game. Also, it is uh, for two players. Yes, you can play it. It's, I think it still has a very active online community. That is possible, because yeah. it also has a complex uh, editor. A level editor, yeah. Level editor, I think yeah. you could make whole episodes, whole campaigns yeah. with that. And get in your own graphics and stuff like that. With so uh, Programming and yeah. all this so, kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of obscure, but I think it still has a small but very dedicated community to it. And it also had deathmatch modes and uh, race modes and all this kind of stuff. So that's yeah. fine. I, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. Me neither. But this is the first game, which is also, for its time, pretty good, but... Um, and really fast. And, and it's really fast, yeah. Now approaching Diamondus. So we are basically... Yeah. It's across planets or something. And uh, we are this little guy here. Jazz. Which is They're a green rabbit for some reason. And there are these things here. Kill this rabbit. So we are apparently wanted by someone. And we can walk around, which is pretty quick. And uh, this game is actually, I think they were kind of ripping off uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Like, like uh, how the how the legs move when you're running and uh, these kind of um, bouncy pads and stuff like that. I mean, it's not like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog had a had a patent on that stuff or anything like that. But um, I think it's pretty obvious that they were that this was a reference for them. Yeah. And um, like many old DOS shareware games, this also has kind of non-linear levels. Or I think it's a little bit, it's not as non-linear as in Duke Nukem or something. Yeah. But it's but just this whole space where you can walk around in. But um, it's still not just one path that you can take. Okay, let's just continue. I think you can actually go here, can't you? Yes. And it's full of secrets again. Like uh, you can get, but you don't need to find any, any of that. This is a checkpoint. Yes, it's a checkpoint. Ooh. They get you your collecting discs. Yes, like in yeah, that seems to be a trope in all these old shareware games. Collecting discs. Because why not? <laughs> this is a computer thing. Home computers. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't God. even have a disk reader anymore. Yeah. Disk drive. Disk drive. Yeah. yeah. But but um, after seeing through my CD collection, I there were, were some discs between. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have some discs <coughs> old yeah. old discs, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what it was written on that, but yeah. some old video games were <laughs> on <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Yeah, I, we had a lot of um, 
old discs. They were <laughs> mostly they were pirated copies, I think, <laughs> because I don't think I had many um, that were like original. Yeah, with original labels and stuff, but. Uh, I didn't know but I up, think but I, I I have even a um, disc with um, safe games of Diablo 2 <laughs> on, oh, on, on a disc. Yeah, <laughs> on a disc. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a time when we used like floppy disks to uh, exchange things, yeah. like little things, right? Because that was, f but we, I think we had the CD-ROM drives. Yeah, but but, but um, it, it was before you could actually afford like. Uh, CD writers, like you couldn't write on CDs, you could only read CDs. Oh, it, it, it was too expensive. Too expensive, yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. Used, still used discs for that. Yeah, I remember. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. Yeah. I kind of like floppy discs. <laughs> yeah. They're so noisy. <laughs> yeah. And it was always so chunky to put them in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> CDs are always kind of like insubstantial. <laughs> Do, do you know the videos uh, in which people um, recorded their uh, disk drives to play uh, melodies? Mm, melodies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the Star Wars theme. Yeah, and Star Wars theme, and yeah. And, uh, things like that. Yeah. I, 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 I think I watched one where they played um, the, the Monkey Island theme. <laughs> this uh, is all so these great. iconic themes like... Uh, there will probably be one with uh, The Legend of Zelda <laughs> yeah. or with uh, Mario Brothers or what, or what else. Yeah, that's kind of because they, those things were just so, um, yeah, so noisy. I think I'm not going to try. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. In some games, I get kind of OCD and try to pick up everything in a level. This game is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, because you run in a lot of enemies. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also, there are several points of no return in this game, in some levels. You can't really... Uh, go back. Where you, where you can't go back anymore, and then I'm just, fuck it. Um, yeah, that's like running into a lot of enemies. That's one thing with uh, this game. Like, it's so fast, but I think the camera is way too zoomed in for that. Yeah. So you, you sometimes you only have like the tiniest split of a second to uh, to avoid the enemy. To avoid enemies and stuff. Yeah. Because you see them only after you you're right in their face. Okay. Let's continue. Oh yeah. Oh Ooh, yeah. It's super fast now. <laughs> and also <laughs> music. <laughs> the music is also super fast. Yeah, that's one thing that I really um, that's really cool in this game. It's it's the music. It's this kind of cyber nineties pseudo video game techno music. <laughs> I don't know. It's so um, yeah. I I like it. And I'm almost dead. Uh, also I like the walk of the turtles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's just <laughs> just, just sauntering. <laughs> uh, give me that carrot because that gives me back my my health. Oh, I picked something up. I don't know what. You know the, the the turtles just mind their own business and then <laughs> you came along and shoot them in the face. <laughs> yeah, with the flamethrower. <laughs> no, with the toaster. Yeah, the toaster. <laughs> right. Yeah, toaster. <laughs> How can I? Yeah, blaster, toaster, and RF missiles. Level clear. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, that was kind of the time, right, when uh, all games had like cool protagonists. Mostly some animal would, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was just radical, bodacious. Oh, Jesus. That was also kind of, I think, um, didn't some Sonic games also have similar 3D 
I don't, totally don't know anything about Sonic. Yeah, I didn't really play. I, I had a demo version of Sonic 3 for the PC because there was a PC version yeah, of I Sonic 3. I think I remember that, but, but um, not much else. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think this is the last one, but there are more than you can uh, collect. Collect, yeah. And an extra life. Extra life. <laughs> Tube electric. I always like the music in this one. So it's basically you have a certain s theme or graphic style of levels. Yeah. And I think you always have two levels. Yeah. And then you progress mm -hmm. to the next one. Right. What game was it that said X for life when you... I, c I can't remember. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking about that too. Yeah. Huh. I mean, listen to that. X oh, for yeah. life. Now this is going to haunt me for yeah, oh, yeah, the me rest too. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the bouncer. Toaster. No, launcher, not a bouncer. Oh, you can go here. <laughs> Yeah, that is an interesting level design. Mm. Yeah, like those, yeah, the secret stuff. Uh, yeah. You can, yeah, I think I have said it before, but if you play early first person shooters, you can really see that these games were made by the same people that made these kind of shareware platformers. Because they have the same principles, like um, walking around yeah. in a level and. Uh, it's it's not, not really that there are secrets but um, they are a main part of the game yeah, yeah so in right. each every, in every level yeah, yeah that you know that there are secrets yeah, yeah it's not it's not like an easter egg or something or a, a like really hidden thing but there are always it's not just one critical path but there are all these kind of uh, deviations from that and that's i think that's the thing yeah and uh, i mean if you if you look at doom or something those games are kind of designed in a similar way. Those levels were also kind of these open spaces. Yeah. And um, you can basically go wherever you please. And um, yeah, and you need to find the things that let you then progress to the end. But how you do that is basically your own thing. Yeah. I think we should play some early first person shooters. On yeah, we, Revisited we, we should point. do that. We didn't really play those games back then. No. But um, I just remember a few, like yeah. Blood or. Yeah. But um, I think we could play something like Wolfenstein or um, or maybe even Doom. I don't know. Even I I really like Doom. I think Doom is a fantastic game. It's really it's a brilliant game. Yeah. So we should. I I never played do it really much but yeah. Yeah, we should, we should do nice. it we should do it at some point because it's one of those games that is just yeah like masterclass in design it's so well designed it's so yeah it's basically perfect I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and also the level design is fantastic in this I think it was by and they had several level designers like John Romero and uh, what's his face I don't know but, um, yeah. D didn't you say in one of our last videos that there is a co-op mode? Or in am Doom? I, yeah. You, you can, I think, the, you can play the normal levels with, uh, with other people, yeah. I think over the network. And there are lots of Doom source ports, like, um, yeah, like source ports where you, that take the old data files and put it in a, in a new modern thing, yeah. and I think there you with those things you can you will definitely be able to do that. Okay. Um, there are also other early shooter games like uh, Duke Nukem 3D or something. I think I talked about Duke Nukem 3D when we are maybe yeah. yeah. When, um, they came out with a new version. Like I think it's Duke Nukem 3D. I don't know what, and it's for Steam I think. Okay. And um, 
this one you can just play like like a modern game through Steam and say like, join his game and then you can join the game yeah, like that. That is nice. Um, so I have that version. Maybe you can get it at some point. Yeah. It's not too expensive, I think. It's just like ten dollars or something. And when it's on, when it's on sale, it's like even less. Good for like three bucks or something. And then we could play through, or not play through it, but uh, play it for a while. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Because Dune in 3D is also kind of kind of cool. It also has great level design, I think. Now other games like um, like Shadow Warrior and Blood. Yeah. Um, and those were, I think, all on the same en engine. Like Dune in 3D, Blood and Shadow Warrior. You can really see that those are the same engine. Okay. Okay, so we are kind of uh, digressing here from this game, but that's just PC gaming in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that this is a kind of very organic development into these kinds of shooters. Yeah. And, uh, I even think that games like Doom or Wolfenstein have more in common with these games than with modern shooters, actually. Yeah, probably. Because, um, yeah, it's so different. Like, they also have this emphasis on movement, like dodging enemy attacks and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. Demon. I didn't see where you were sucked in. Yeah. Okay. The music is it's kinda cheesy, but it's <laughs> still awesome. Dun, 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 dun. But the best music is I think in the next world, after this one. It's the medieval I think is the Okay, this was this castle. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. My throat is kind of dry today. Oh, it's medieval. Okay, fantastic. I found this world kind of scary when I was when I was a child. Because it's dark and yeah, it's rainy and it, what are those things? <laughs> like helmet people with lizards. Maybe they are um, like turtles with a uh, helmet on or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at those eyes. <laughs> We're in a, a very compressed <laughs> very turtle. Compressed, turtle. <laughs> compressed turtles. And flying swords. And lava falls. Yeah. Also, it could not be rain but waterfall. Yeah, it's very dense rain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you cannot see what's behind the rain. <laughs> <laughs> there are some... Ooh, look at that. They're scary shadows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that music is so great. I, I need to see if, if you can actually get the soundtrack from somewhere. <laughs> oh, and then just listen to it yeah, <laughs> for I, I an mean, hour. <laughs> at least to the medieval. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, oh, can, can, can you go to the right there? Is, mm. is there a... No. Hmm. 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 And there will be some... Yeah, there will be a way to get there, but... Uh, well, whatever. Maybe we'll find it, but uh, I won't look for it specifically. Um, uh, swords with a um, thruster. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the thruster. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, oh video game. <laughs> well, how do these swords fly? With a thruster? Yeah, yeah let's, let's put a thruster on it. <laughs> <laughs> that they even felt the need to do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> video games. God, Jesus. Okay. Oh. And a uh, huge <laughs> ball. <laughs> there we are again. A huge ball swinging <laughs> around. 
Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this actually doesn't make any sense. Like, if it comes back, let's see. Like, the thrusters are still the top, you see? Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um. You have probably noticed the cut, but uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> we were not that seamless in our in our video editing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't remember, but it was a call we needed to take. So uh, sorry about that. Okay, now. Let's just keep on playing then and not jump into the specs. No. Okay, now we are maybe. And you jumped into the specs. <laughs> yeah, I tried <laughs> to get to the fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Childhood Revisited, a series about childhood games and balls. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, hoverboards, because it's a 90s game. <laughs> Can they even hear you? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully, yeah. <coughs> uh, let's see. Hoverboards. I hope this video is not going to be a train wreck, but uh, I think it's, it's <laughs> no, alright. <laughs> it, it, it will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we I tried recording this once before. And yeah, I, I talked about that in the one must fall that, that we already <laughs> recorded <laughs> this yeah. one once. Yeah, and always weird stuff happens. <laughs> like Death Jackrabbit is kind of cursed for us. <laughs> I don't know, but I think uh, this is going to be all right, and we are going to put this video out. Yeah. Obviously, if you are watching it right now. Okay. If not, then uh, <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> it will be in the outtake section. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yes. Uh, oh, oh. Maybe just take the jump pad. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That would perhaps make sense. Swing balls. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, I need to see if I can reinstall Jeff Dracker with Swipe. Why, yeah, Death Rec Rabbit 2. Oh, Jesus Christ, my brain is just going haywire right now. <laughs> the German version. Death Rec Rabbit 2. Yeah, sorry. Um, because I really want to play this now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, let's see. How, how long shall we go? On this one, uh, at least to the end boss, I think. Oh yeah, let's yeah, let's keep going to the boss. I think the boss is in medieval, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I you're right. So, yeah. You're right. I I remember. I think it was uh, with those rainfalls and <laughs> in the background. Yeah, I remember the red walls. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, that guy was pretty evil. Yeah. And that the the big turtle bad guy. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. Also, fun fact about this game. Um, this game was made by Cliff Blizinski actually, who is very kind of famous in the video game world for, for making Unreal. I think he was the lead designer on Unreal and on Gears of War. And he was kind of the... Yeah, you know, some companies often have one or two people who are very outspoken and uh, whom many people know. And yeah. uh, Cliff Blazinski was the one for Epic Games. And now he just... he's mostly just talking stupid crap on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always kind of like the guy. Because but, uh, you read what he writes. <laughs> huh? 
because you read what what, what you, you are what you is. sometimes I have <laughs> it's it's oftentimes it's kind of a topic in gaming forums and stuff. Okay. Because Cliff Blazinski said whatever, and then uh, yeah, it gets reported on and you know, whatever. But I think he is actually not working in games right now. Hmm. He just um, he left Epic at some point, and then he just didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. But I think he made <laughs> like obscene amounts of money with uh, with yeah, Unreal. That and, is uh, possible. <laughs> so he actually doesn't need to work right now. Army of compressed turtles. Yes, compressed turtles. That is. Uh, this is how I'm going to call them from now on. <laughs> Zip turtles, basically. Zip turtles. <laughs> Level clear. Oh no, it wasn't in medieval. Yeah, maybe it's maybe a third now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Guardian level one. I think yeah. that's it. Yeah. Or not? Oh yeah, that's. No approaching guardian. guardian with a question mark. It's ominous. Very ominous. Mm. Heavy metal music. Or something approximating heavy metal music. Let's pick up the ammunition and uh, just. I think you could kind of cheat. By yeah, the yeah, 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 because uh, the last time he kicked your ass. You just stood on the left. Yeah. And you can do that. But oh, now I murder. think you, you're better than the last time. Yeah. You, you already did it? Yeah, he's dead. Why had you so... I don't know. I actually do not know. I think I had some kind of frame rate issues or stuff like that. I don't remember. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that was the first episode of Jazz Jackrabbit, I think. So um, that was the shareware episode that most people perhaps played and you can play through the rest of the game and stuff um, if you so desire. As said, the second game is uh, even better. This one is kind of cool but it's, yeah, you can play it but I think I wouldn't feel compelled to play through the game right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's still, still a cool game. and. Uh, we're going to return to Jazz Jack Rabbit at some point when we are going to play the second one. Yes. Once we, we figure it out, how to get it get it to run and stuff like that. I think it will probably be fine. I I, yeah, I think there are no not not really many problems. Yeah, I think it still works on modern systems. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. We are another dying. This was Childhood Revisited, episode whatever on Jazz Jack Rabbit. See you. Bye.